is not there, so it just sounds like I'm whispering to the iPhone. Oh, Heavenly Father, why? And then the second the second video that I filmed that I only got halfway through, also like the microphone wasn't capturing anything. I'm wondering if it had something to do with my cord. Lordy lordy. Anyway, um, I'm just hoping and praying, dear Heavenly Father, please, I beg of you, let these videos work tonight. I have a lot of work to do in Jesus' name, amen. Because I have like four whole videos to film tonight and and I'm going on a road trip. Um my mom for a week with my, with my kids, my kids, my kids, so I'm very excited, but I have, I have not packed anything, and we're leaving tomorrow after my mom's group, um, and my daughter's preschool class, which ends at like 1130, um, so we'll probably head out of town by like noon, all that to say, I have a long journey ahead of me tomorrow, I have to pack, and I need to get these videos done, because uh, I'm pretty ahead of schedule, I have videos um, for the next, like, month, uh, so when I tell you that I'm coming through with the content, honey, I'm coming through with the content, okay, I've got it scheduled, locked, and loaded, so, and speaking of that, if you do not subscribe to this channel, you know I'd love to have you, you know I'd love to have you. subscribe to this 
size and um, she's got a really great whisper she's um, I, I would say like a pretty big creator and so I was feeling a little I was having a bit of a fangirl moment I'm not gonna lie so Soraya if you see this video thank you for subscribing and I love your content and I love what you do keep doing what you do I wish you so much success and um So it's got the brush. 
Honors. I've never seen this brand before, and I saw that all of them said Hoka. Well, I went home and I did some Googling, and I was like, okay, Hoka, I'm gonna vibe in these runners. Um, I can be a bit of a sneakerhead, like, I like, I love shoes, but more specifically, I love sneakers. So I have a lot of runners. So, um, I became obsessed with Hoka's. I always thought about them, but I was like, hesitant to actually get a pair because they're like $200 here in Canada. They might be cheaper in the US, but here in Canada they run for like, they run from like $180 to $200 a pair. And that's not really cheap, in my opinion. <laughs> Especially when you can get like, say for example, and I obviously know that this is not a running shoe, but like you can get Adidas, Converse, Nike for like 100 bucks. So I was like $200. Oh, but anyway, then last fall I bit the bullet and bought my first pair of Hoka's. They were the Bondi 8s. Um, and they're sort of like a, like a sunset. So they're like yellows and pinks and like a touch of blue. Then when we went to Oahu last November, we went to do North Storm Rack. North Storm Rack, which is my favorite place to go in the States. That and um, Target, obviously. So, we went to Nordstrom Rack, and they had, they had all the goodies. They had Ons, if you know those runners. They had Hoka's, they had Doc Martens, they had Uggs, they had all the things. I was a kid in a candy store, and they had a pair of Hoka's, and I'm so sorry, but I don't know what type of Hoka they are, but I think it starts with a G. And they're like and red, um, and I loved them and was like, I need them. They were also $80. Like, even if that's, like, $80 USD, but even with that conversion, it's still, like, a heck of a lot cheaper than, like, what they would have cost here in the land of the beavers. So, um, yeah, so anyway, so then I had, so now I have two pairs. Well, now I have three pairs because I got these guys, so I will show you what they look like now. The suspense. Sorry, I was building up the suspense. Ta-da! So these are the Hoka Clifton Nines. Um, these are not as chunky as the Bondi 8s. I feel like the Bondi 8s, the, the sole is like this thick. Um, which is what I like about the Bondi 8s. I'm only 5'2". So any shoe that gives me a little bit of height, your girl's are here for it. But anyway, like, are you not obsessed? This is the rose gold color. And I just thought they were so pretty. I also like the gum sole detail. I think that that's really nice. I do like gum sole, um, what's the, oh, like a Reebok, Reebok Classics with the gum sole. You know, I love that. I used to be a really big sneakerhead back in the day, like, first couple years of university. I, like, was living on my own for the first time in my life, and, like, um, and not even in, like, the same town as, city as my mom. Um, so it was just me. It's just, it was just the girl in the city, and... I would like frequent the local Foot Locker <laughs> and like buy, I wouldn't buy a ton, actually no there was a time where I had a lot of runners and I would like, uh, this is before I was like engaged with kids, like this is like I'm a single Pringle, no kids, live in the bachelorette life. I'm not kidding, I would line up all my sneakers, right, every week or every other week and clean them with a toothbrush. Yeah, because I was a psycho. But I just liked having fresh kicks. And then people would be like, are your shoes new? And I'd be like, no, I just clean them all the time. <laughs> and I was also the type of person, I, I can still be like that a little bit, where like, you know how some people, um, they like their shoes dirty. Like I had a friend in uh, elementary, she literally would get a new pair of shoes and like rub them in the dirt and then go about her business but like she couldn't wear the shoes until they had like been dirtied I'm like the complete opposite like once my shoes get like to a point where I'm like I don't like they're like too dirty I'm just like nah and they're going to 
with Sally Ann now because I'm over them. Not that my shoes really get dirty, to be honest, but if they get to a level of ick that I'm like, the shoe is, she's, she's too far gone. She's got to go. So I cannot relate to the wanting to rub your shoes in dirt situation, but I also like, not to get too deep, but I also didn't like grow up with like a ton of money, like we were fine, but like, you know, um, so I feel like for me, having nice things is like a privilege, like I'm privileged and I'm lucky to have these these material items, so I'm not gonna like take them for granted, like I'm gonna treat them well, and that's something I tell my kids a lot, whenever my kids are like throwing their toys, or like doing stuff like that, I'm like, you guys, if you cannot respect your toys, then you cannot have toys, like I did not spend my hard earned money on this thing for you to snap it in half and throw it across the room, what the heck, that's something about me as a mother, I take that very seriously, and like, not so seriously that like, material things come before your well-being really, well. but I'm just saying like, if I'm privileged enough to have a thing, I want to take care of it, that's just how I feel personally. I think 
subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Seriously, I would really, really, really 